Okay, so I am doing this for me. Um, I need to get on track and there are a couple of things that I really need to work on. One being my health, my exercise and my diet and my business. Um, I really need to work on just staying on top of things better and I am also a person who needs accountability. So if you stumble upon this video and you need accountability, follow along and see how it works for me. And, you know, maybe do this yourself if it does work. Um, I have my agenda. You will see that it has not been moved since December 23rd and it is now December 28th. <laughs> so um, I'm at least a little bit behind. Um, I don't think this is going to be like a super informational vlog that I'll do. I don't know. I'm going to try and do it every day. I'm going to try. I've heard that's a lot of work. Um, and I know it's important to be consistent. And maybe that is what I need is to say I'm committed. I am doing this every day. And you are going to be a part of it if you choose to watch. If not, at least I'm doing this for me. Um, so I have some downtime. That's why I'm in the van sleeping kid in the back um, we do a little quite a bit of driving during the week and this is one of those moments where I have to just kind of sit and wait and so during this time I am going to use it to set my 2019 goals and look at my upcoming week or two and try to plan that stuff out um, and go from there so my other goals are to read more I um, am a writer and so I need to write more. Um, I need to work on having a bigger list of names of people to contact because I also write for a local newspaper um, and I don't want to be rushing for stories. I want to have those kind of lined up. So um, my writing, I need to do a final run through of edits on a novel I'm finishing. Um, being a little bit more present with some of my friends. Um, I kind of get wrapped up in everything else I'm doing um, and then living I did start a blog it's been up for I think like two months it's called Lynn living epic blogspot.com and I will link it below um, and it's just kind of things that I do that I think help make my life epic and they're most of them are gonna be like low to no budget <laughs> because that's how I operate <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that's where we're going to start and congratulations if you made it through this intro and I hope you follow along with me and keep me accountable. So if you're watching this, let me know in the comments below some of your goals, some of the things that you found help you stick with it and we'll go from there. Okay. So, um, flash forward and what I have done is I have completed some of my to-do list. So I've got some things written down that I need to do today. Um, tomorrow I will be helping at the family business. I need to do some groceries and I need to go to disc replay. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I have a whole bag of DVDs that are just like in my van that I'm going to take to disc replay and either trade or sell whatever they'll take. Um, and I've been driving around with them in the van for like a month. So tomorrow they're gone. And then I went ahead and I jumped forward to the beginning of next week. And um, on Monday, I'm in direct sales, but I do not have a meeting because it's New Year's Eve. The baby does not have preschool. And I've gone ahead and listed out some of the things I need to do. Um, the reason that I really like this agenda is because it's very basic, it's simple, um, and it leaves a spot for your six most important things, which actually one, two, three, four, five, six, it actually lets you list seven. Um, and I forget what exactly it was called. It was like the $34 million list. Um, but they say if you write down before you go to bed the six most important things you do to do the next day, when you get up, you can jumpstart it. Um, and so you get the satisfaction of crossing things off and it keeps you on track. You know what you're doing that day. And the um, agenda that I have is a day designer. It was at Target. It was not expensive. 
Um, I really like it. What is the name? Oh, Day Designer. <laughs> so, and it comes with like stickers and a stencil. And I have had this for months and you can tell I don't, I didn't really use the stickers or anything like that. Um, but it also has like pockets and stuff. So when we were buying our home, I went through and I wrote down like all the dimensions of the washer and the dryer and where I want my bookshelves and stuff like that. And that way, um, when my husband would say, hey, what size refrigerator can we fit? I'm like, oh, hold on, I have it in my agenda. So I love this thing. I take it everywhere with me. It's in my purse constantly. Um, and it's just a good way to track your progress. So I'm going to put it to use. And here we have it. I've done bills. I've got my grocery list. I've gotten to cross things off and I am pretty much ready to go. So i um, not going to lie. This is really weird. <laughs> I never thought talking to myself and recording it would make me feel so awkward, but here we are. Um, so hopefully that's something that gets easier. Um, my husband is in the room reading to our daughter and getting her ready for bed. And I have three things left on my list. Um, a post I need to do, I need to do some editing, and I need to do some reading. So currently what I'll be reading in is my Bible. Um, two years ago, a girlfriend of mine and I decided to read through from Old Testament through New Testament. Um, if you don't know me, I am a Christian. I'm a believer of Jesus Christ and everything he did for us. If you're not, that's cool. <laughs> um, Jesus told us to love, so I love you. <laughs> um, anywho, so... I am doing really bad, like really, really bad. Like I go through spurts where I'll read a chapter and then it's like a month and I don't read anything. Um, or I'll read individual passages and like that's not enough. I need more. So, got my water. Um, and I am about to go wash my makeup off and sit down, read at least one chapter in the good book <laughs> and um, then work on some editing. Um, it was really cool. I opened up the Lowell Tribune, which I write for, and got to look at my last story that was published. So yay! Um, I love seeing my stuff in print. It's really cool. So that's the goal with my books now. I have a couple digitally published, but I want to see them in the wild. Um, so yeah, three things to go, and I will say so far, I would not be this far if I had not said... I'm gonna do this and like took the time to record myself saying it. Um, I would have just played Disney Magic Kingdoms all night and called it a night. So, so far, so good. So this is my Bible. My mother-in-law got it for me a couple of years ago, actually quite a few years ago now, um, but I really like it. Agenda right there, so I know what's going on. And I have a bookmarker, which is an old picture. She's a lot bigger than that now. So I am in Psalms, which I had actually forgotten that I had made it to Psalms. So there we go, Psalms 31. And I know that because this was facing up. If it had been facing this way, I would have known I was over there. So there we go. Okay, so as you guys will see tomorrow, I didn't actually end the video last night with any formal sign off. I'll be real honest, this is still awkward. Um, day two here. And it'll take me a day or so to get that one uploaded to you. Um, but I, did, I didn't want to just end the video with like, bam, that was my Bible, peace out. So um, I guess I will say what my daughter always says and my husband. Well, he always tells her to listen, be good, and be happy. And what else can I wish for you guys? But to listen, to be good, and to be happy.